What's going on everybody? It is Colossals here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Just got a fresh new haircut. Don't you, don't you guys just get that when you go to a barber's or hairdresser, if you're a girl, and you walk out, you just feel fresh, and you feel good, and you feel ready? That's how I feel right now. And I'm ready to actually bring you guys another, another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we will be taking a look at Varian. He is a new hero, and I'm actually very curious how many times I'm gonna say that with a new hero there he's actually very unique in his own ways he is the first multi-class hero to be introduced into the game he can be either a warrior or assassin depending on your um, on your talent choices the most like the talents which which will influence your class the most will be your your, your level 4 and your level 10 talents Level 10 being the most influential, by the way. Um, he brings great survivability at the price of utility, or, you know, on the other hand, great utility on the you know, on the payoff of his survivability. Uh, we will be taking a look at the tank build today, as, it, as that is my favorite, even though it's not the best. I still enjoy it a lot. And let's jump straight into it. We will forge a great destiny. All right, boys and grills, the finer sales on the cursed hollow map. Number one, we're gonna go for High King's quest, and it's kind of like a new breed of the questing talents. What it is, it's it's a one quest, it's a three questing talents instead of one big questing talent. You need to attack 50 heroes with your basic attacks. You need to get five takedowns. You need to uh, not get, but participate in five takedowns, and you need to gather 20 globes. Once you um, complete one of them, you will get plus 10 attack damage. When you complete all of them, on on the other hand, you will get additional 30. So you can get up to 60 auto attack damage, which obviously it's kind of better than anything else up in up in this business. Of we're gonna go over the abilities first. Skill ability is called Lion's Fang. It's this very, very quickly traveling skill shot in front of him that uh, that de deals a light damage to enemies and slows them for thirty percent for one point five seconds. We have our parry, which which parries um, all basic attacks for one point two five seconds. I know that I'm there, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm actually alone here, and I need some help. Uh, I come up lane for shit. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna parry and reduce their damage, but what, what's gonna happen is you will still be taking the damage. Um, so you, you're pretty much still taking the damage, but you are just um, basically absorbing. Like, like there's a big shield that just absorbs it. So, for example, Butcher's Brand is still gonna heal. Um, like, you know, just basically, or for example, when you pop Evasion as, um, as Illidan, for example, when you're in the range of an enemy fort, you will want you won't get slowed at all. But uh, when you actually pop uh, your kind of evasion here, you will actually be slowed, but you just won't be taking damage. So it just differs in that way. And our ability is called charge. It's uh, basically it has, it has pretty. Okay range, you know, it's pretty low range for the, for the charge ability, especially when you have something, you know, along the lines of, you know, of Butcher, right? As you saw there, it charges to an enemy, uh, slowing them for 75 seconds, uh, no, 75 seconds, for 75% for 1.5 second, or sorry, for just 1 second, and dealing very light damage, very, very light damage for a skill shot like that. So you see, his, um, his, ba his basic kit is pretty standard for uh, any warrior or actually any uh, assassin to be honest with you right here. I'm actually fine, I'm okay. Then his trait. This trait is called Heroic Striker. It really reminds me of the trait from Samuro. What it does, every 18 seconds your next basic attack will be dealing so much more damage. And then when you auto attack, you will reduce that cooldown by 2 seconds. Which obviously is pretty similar. To how um, to how just how Samurai straight works, right? It's very very good for dealing burst damage. I'll watch out for the dunk. I really want to show off um, some of that that uh, parry. Like right, level four, are you gonna go for Warbringer? I just feel like it's 
again, I'm going to kind of discuss this in, in the later stages of the video where I'll be kind of discussing my, my concerns about that character. Uh, but uh, what it does, it turns the slow into a stun and it reduces the cooldown by 10 seconds. Which, be which So this becomes a 1 second stun on a 6 second cooldown, which is just crazy. If you think about it, it's just crazy how good that is. Let's kill this, uh, this, this troll, it should, should not be uh, any problem for us. As long as... Oh, there's a stun. Who's that? Bayo! I'm gonna actually go and engage on that Chromie. Hi, Chromie. You're stunned! And it's only three seconds up until I'll be able to stun you again. How broken is that? Honestly, guys, how broken is that? Six second cooldown on a one second stun. This is crazy. 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 Uh, but on the other hand, if you want to go for like, more of a tanky build, you can go for a uh, shield wall. Your W will prevent all incoming damage, which is equally as annoying, just not as much utility. Just not as much utility as the Warbringer. On this level range, on the other hand, we will go for second win. On second win, what it's going to be able to do for me when I auto attack is just going to be returning some health to me. Honestly, really good with your heroic strike. You know, we basically, will be able to. Uh, it will be able to, you know, kind of give you back a lot more health when you actually hit with your heroic strike, which is good. Um, is there anything more to it? Oh, it, it, it's, also, it's also going to heal him for more. Um, when he uh, when he's below 50% of health, so you know ob obviously when he drops below 50% of health, he just becomes really unstoppable. Especially with, with with one of the builds, which is called like a sustained assassin kind of build. Our Savannah is missing, which is always nice, right? So I'm gonna try to parry here, try to nullify the incoming damage. There's a stun on the enemy Azvan. Of course, he's a big ball of meat, so we we won't be able to burst him down as as quickly. Here comes the stun though. It's gonna be able to do quite a lot. Our time is kind of sustaining right here. Uh, honestly, I really do want to. There we go, there's a kill. I don't think we can do anything here. We still did very well for our Savannah's not being here. Actually, it's my girlfriend. Baby, what you know what happened now? I know you I know you destroyed the fort, but we can't do anything now. Okay, that's fine. It's a fort for a curse, which which at the end, in my books, is a good trade. Now, uh, baby, just just try to clear our middle and be careful of any rotations, please. I love you. Yeah. So, the strengths of the character. Obviously, this build can engage very well, but not even just this build. It's just it's it's any of his build, right? Because of the Warbringer talent. Um, so th this one is much better. There's a stun. Honestly, if Falstaff would have um, would have followed up on that stun, we would have been able to kill that, uh, no problem. There's my parry to soak the shots. We good. We good. We will be able to out heal. Maybe not out heal the damage from the throw. From the throw, but we'll definitely be able to kind of, um, kind of you know, just kind of heal up. Just kind of heal up. We're gonna go for the taunt. What it does, it gives him a shield. Okay, it gives him a shield. Give him a shit ton of health. That's all you have to know. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually. <laughs> I'm gonna use a taunt here. Right, so yeah, so it gives him a shit ton of health, give him a sh gives him a shield. What it also does, it, it gives him this taunt ability. Basically, when you, when you, it's, it's a very short range, very short actually duration as well, because it's only, uh, it's only 1.25 seconds. Hi, hi, I'm gonna kill you. Actually, I'm not gonna kill you, I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. Uh, what it does, it makes the enemy attack you. They can't do anything besides or attack you. And that's honestly very, very good. It's kind of similar, similar how Horrify works, right? Um, Horrify, you know, makes somebody run in a certain direction. Oh, where are you going, baby girl? You would have been dead if it wasn't for your... Honestly, like, if she comes out... If she comes out too much, I can kill her. And that will be good, because I'm, I'm on YouTube, baby. Oh, god damn it. Hi, Krami. All right, so we are going down to the bottom lane because that's where the next tribute is going to be. And honestly, I want to stop this very. I'm gonna taunt him, and you can see he cannot do anything. He actually did go for the battle talent build, but he's gonna be actually burned down here by the. 
uh, by just a pure a pure damage from our from our friendly team right here i'm gonna actually try to come up because we gucci like that because we gucci like that oh shit okay those are shields i need to go bye bye have a great time don't you dare don't you even dare chase me my friend don't you even dare there we go i'm gonna go back uh enemy team is cursed so we did grab the curse at the end don't know why we fought, but we did. It's okay. It's okay. So, I was talking about his strength. So definitely the engages the strength. And then it's really up it's really up to your build, right? It's really baby, that was a good job. Um it's really up to your build. You can your strength could be survivability, but your strength could also be just total utility with the stun, with closing the gap, um, and stuff like that. You are also a very good disruptor. You're also a very good damage dealer when you pick up s certain t certain talents. So it's really it's really up to the build. Again, it's really up to what you want to choose. Apparently, uh, Blizzard has stated that there are six possible, um, you know, kind of like variations of Varian. Um, there's a lot of Varian. Actually, Asma down is there. Hello, Asma down, my friend. No, you body block me. I'm gonna secure kill with the taunt. Awesome, awesome, good job, let's do this. Actually, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. So what he can do right there is just focus on me on that one target and just out heal everything. Like he could just out heal everything. All right, he's actually dead, I think. Yes, okay, I'm coming on Zarya, there's a stun, very nice. I tried to taunt her, but that actually wasn't necessary and we were able to secure a quad kill on the end there. Boss? Okay, let's go boss. I we not have a healer, so this might be pretty heavy for us, but because especially that our talents is down in the bottom lane. It's only me and Falstead doing this right now. I don't know about this. Alright, let's go. So let's drop our banner. I did not actually explain what the banner does. I'm gonna do that in a second. There we go. Spawn those copies. Yeah, boo. Yeah, boo. Yeah. So our banners. I already explained all of his kind of strengths. I'm gonna go over the weaknesses in a second. Um, but uh, let's go over his banners first. Level 13. We picked up a banner. Which, what it does, he has three to choose from. He has the Banner of Iron Forge, Banner of Stormwind, and the Banner of Dalaran. He's dead, right? Oh, he dead AF! Dude, this stun is just crazy, I'm telling you. It's like the most OP talent I've ever seen, honestly. Honestly. It's even, I think it's even worse than SF Johan. Like, that was crazy on Li Meng. And, th and th it's just much crazier than that. It's, it's just much crazier than that. Baby, you're, you're gonna die, I think. Okay, you're fine. Alright, so I'm gonna go for Shattering Throw. Oh. Nice, babe! Very good mind control. Alright, let's kill this. Oh, yeah, there's Tribute right there. Uh, who's gonna grab it? Who's gonna grab it? Okay, False is, false is on his way. Who's gonna kill this? Why not? Yeah, so what the, what the banner does, every single banner that has a kind of a different, um, different vibe to it. I, I just saved my girlfriend right there from, from being booted. I don't think we can kill them here. There's a banner of Iron Forge. I'm just gonna stun him out of his uh, his channel. He's fine. And we we Gucci. Oh no, babe, no! You shall you shall know. You shall not do damage to my girlfriend, bastard. There we go. Oh my god, baby, you're alive. I need to go. Just go. This false just died. Okay, I gotta go. Very nice. Nicer, nicer! Nicer, nicer! Awesome. Alright, so again, banners. <laughs> Stormwind will give everybody in the area additional 25% movement speed. We actually just won the game. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 12 minute game. I think that's GG. I do believe that's the GG. I had to go back because I have no health, so I would, I would have been no use to them anyway. But they're, they're just they're just hammering on the court. That's it. That's a twelve minute game. I didn't even they, I didn't even get to thirty percent of what I what I had to say in this video. It's crazy. 
Okay, anyway, I'm gonna continue on in a second. God damn it. Oh shit! Because I'm the best I'm the best to ever fucking do this shit. That's what I do. Alright, good job to you, my baby. I love you. Right. So I'm gonna go over the what I what I actually have to say. I have some notes here. What I actually found out is I'm better with recording when I have actually notes where I can do to, where, where I can look at something and actually just have a list of things. This not not hundred percent just script. Just kind of you know just kind of jot it down things which I want to say. Um, nice, babe. I like it. Great like it. job. Yeah. And apparently, so the, the new thing is a great job kind of banners. They tell you what you did better than the rest of the community, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Very good change, Blizzard. Very good change. I very much enjoy it. What are my concerns about the character? Let's see the stats here. Oh, we Gucci. We, we died zero times. We're, we're, we're the best at this game. By the way, uh, I, I held a full day stream just streaming Varian. Just Varian. And I got him to level 8 and I was like, God damn it, I'm just tired of the character right now. Just because I played him so much. But um, anyway, I'm going to go over the build again. But first of all, let me go over the concerns. I already read over the strengths. It really depends on the build, what your strengths are, right? The concerns about the character. Well, if you still didn't catch it, the Warbringer talent is just crazy. It's just crazy. Crazy how much CC you're able to do. Uh, this can shut down so many characters. Like, for example, Tracer... When, when a variant picks up Warbringer into Taunt, she has no chance of doing anything. She dives him, she gets Warbringer into the Taunt, which means she just she can just stand there and auto-attack. She cannot move, nothing. She just auto-attacks. So she's standing there for two and a half seconds almost, CC'd, and the enemy team can do whatever she wants with that. So he's just a pure counter to her. He's pure counter to any shield, uh, to any shielding um Carters because of the shattering throw, which I will explain in a second. We actually picked it up because they have a Zarya, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna explain that in a second. So honestly, way too crazy. I'm gonna actually go over the possible change in a second right after this section. Um, yeah, so this is my first concern, and then these two are just way too good. Taunt, the ability itself is on the such has very low range. First of all, very small range. And also a very short duration. So buffing though either one of those two would be a good idea. Um, so as a result of the taunt not being that good, actually the health itself, he becomes uh, more tanky than almost any other warrior in the game. Uh, I think only Stitches beats him in health or at level 20. I mean at any level when he picks up taunt after level 10 of course. So obviously that's a lot of health to choose to, right? And if you can just spec for one talent, but still pick up, pick up the Warbringer, this just makes him a hell of a warrior to deal with. When he can bring out so much CC every six seconds, when he can just tank so much damage, but also CC one person so they only attack them, that's obviously a big concern. But actually the biggest concern right now is Twin Blades of Fury. It increases his attack speed. If you guys go back to my theory crafting video, it, it increases his attack speed. He just attacks like crazy, just goes ham. And if you pick up at level 7, Second Wind, and he goes below 50% with something like an Abathur hat, you cannot kill him. If you do not stun him, you will not kill him. You, will, you won't. He becomes, an, he becomes an Illidan on drugs, basically. He attacks so, so, uh, so quickly. And he has more sustained that than Illidan. So this is my concern with this build. And Cole's Smash is is okay, but I, be I believe that it should have just a little bit of a higher cooldown. Uh, it's, it can be used way too uh, way too way too much, especially level twenty when you when you decrease its cooldown by, by ten per, by ten seconds. You can just use it to clear waves. Honestly, like you can use your heroic to clear waves. How how stupid is that? So. Honestly, like a 20 second increase to be a 40 second cooldown, I, w I wouldn't hate that just because it's so good. So basically when you look at his t level 10 um, pick rates right now, you will see these two just just kings. You will see, just see them. And also I think Twin Blades of Fury has the highest win rate, I believe. Or might be the closest smash. I don't, I, I don't remember, but these two are kings of the pick rates. This is just kind of falling behind. Even though Taunt is my favorite build right now. The Taunt build with the Warbringer, just because it's so good. I would like to go, I would like to pick up Shield Ball. Just, it's very, very good. It's just not as good as the, the 
Warbring Town. So the possible changes that I see that would make him that would really he's already pretty balanced in the meta, but to make him really more balanced as a character himself, to really explore, you know, all ideas around him. So um, my my first suggestion change is to increase the stun talent to be on a 10 second cooldown. So this decreases uh, uh, the cooldown of this, your charge by 10 seconds. So from a 16 second cooldown, it becomes a six second cooldown, which is crazy. So how, why not reduce it? R reduce this Warbringer talent benefit from 10 to six seconds. That would be much better. Uh, a, t uh, a 10 second cooldown, one second stun, is much better especially it's just a point and click it's not even a, a, a skill shot to hit you know what i mean so again i that's my first possible change increase the cooldown on on calls to smash of course calls to smash is really, is really strong so um increase the cooldown by up to 40 seconds that's what, exactly what i said in my notes increase the range and the duration of taunt yeah so increase it to like two seconds maybe uh, but keep the same range or increase the range to be like by 100 percent but keep the same um keep the same duration when you buff the the two at the same time i feel like it might actually become too way too much and it's just gonna be way too overpowered so yeah when it comes to twin blades of fury just uh bring down the second wind just br bring down the healing um honestly he should not be getting uh 50 of increased healing just make it just one percent across the entire it doesn't matter what level of health he is right i think that that's that's a very good nerf to uh, to both of these and also an and okay um buff to to really bring them all all in line i believe and for, for level four i already said you know it is to be on a 10 second cooldown and i think this will also bring them more in line like that um also, I want to go over some little combos I went over with my friends. Of course, Abathur variant with the increased attack speed and the Twin Blades of Fury is just crazy. It's just out of this world. Plus, plus, also, a crazy combo which kind of requires much more characters, but it's so fun to play. I actually tried it out with a couple of friends on, a or on NA. It is Karazim, Rhaegar, Varian, and Raynor, and plus one other warrior. So you have two... Um, you have two supports. Basically, Rhaegar goes all healing besides Bloodlust. He actually picks up Bloodlust. And Karazim goes all damage. And then everybody just uh, picks up, you know, aura attack talents. They go for full, all, full on aura attack. Of course, it's easily counterable, but it's just something fun you can do maybe in the Team League match when you see they have not many blinds. Just the Bloodlust is crazy on Varian, crazy on Rainer, especially now that the um, that the limit has been taken off the season marksman uh, talent it's just super good and it's super fun to play honestly just tell me let me tell you guys it's super fun to play so let's now go over the build which is the tank build i might uh, i'm actually will i will record some videos more some more videos uh, going over the other builds as well on level one honestly the only talent you want to go for is high king's quest and that's what i actually also um kind of expressed in my theory craft video if you, if you guys remember that what it does again it's a very big questing talent with three questing talents in it you, you, you have to hit 50 heroes you have to uh, participate in five hero takedowns and gather 20 globes after completing one quest talent you will get 10 attack damage up to 30 and then when you complete all of them you'll get another 30 so up to 60 attack damage which is obviously very good for any build right you want to be able to at least deal some damage to the enemy plus this also synergizes very well with your level 70 second wind if you hit if you hit for more you'll be able to heal for more when you're below 50 percent on level four we did go for the warbringer which is just a crazy just go for it just pick it just pick it don't even don't even question it they have a chromie you don't give a shit right you have six second cooldown, one second stun. It's crazy. If that would be a, a skill shot, okay, I would actually argue here. But be, just because it's a point and click, you just pick it. You, you don't even give a shit about the damage. You just go ham, okay? On level seven, uh, there are actually two choices here. Um, I would really love to go for the parry uh, talents, but they're just a little bit underwhelming. I think this cooldown should be increased to really put it up in the par with this, but I'm not going to go over the balancing changes. I think that, that should happen. So second win, 
is good for any map, but then a victory rush is good for a very small map. So for example, Brax's Holdout, or the second one I can think of is Tomb of the Spider Queen. Like Victory rush is crazy on Tomb of the Spider Queen. So, uh, for, so basically you will heal a very large amount when you basic attack once every 60 seconds. Okay, so it's going to be a very big kind of like um, heal from from the trait of uh, throw, but you reduce its cooldown, the sixty second cooldown, when a, an enemy minion dies next to you. It's actually pretty large, uh, pretty pretty large radius where, where they can die next to you, which honestly is really OP. Like I could sustain through three people hitting me when I was in the lane just killing minions. Like, it was nuts. It was crazy. It, it kind of enables you to uh, do some crazy plays on Tomb of the Spider Queen. Maybe not so much on Braxis, but definitely Tomb of the Spider Queen, you want to pick that Victory Rush, I feel like. Of course, if you're going for the crazy Twin, 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 uh, twin Blades of Fury build, you might want, you still go, want to go for a second win, just because it's, it's going to give you more survivability that way. On 10, I went for Taunt, which, I, which is just my, my favorite in my heart, but of course, my favorite is always the worst, so meh. the tank build is, is good. It's just good. It's not as good as these two, but it's still really, really good. It just brings a lot of utility to the, to the game. Uh, so again, it gives him it gives him more health, 50%. He becomes tankier than any other tank besides Stitches. And you will lose a, a little bit of attack speed, so you'll be attacking much slower. Not much, but just a little bit slower. Um, and it's kind of, you know, kind of like this or attack speed reduce uh, reduction will like your hiking sweats should kind of alleviate that right so the additional damage should actually make up for that all attacks that you, that you are hitting slower you know what if you know what i mean um of course i'm gonna go over the other builds uh, in the other videos so again just stay tuned for those on level 13 i went for the banner of iron forge and i did not explain what they did so Banner of Iron Forge. You place down the banner, and everybody in a very large area around you, and not around you, but around the banner, will be taking twenty-five percent less damage. So they basically they basically get resistant for twelve seconds, or up until the enemy team destroys the banner, which obviously is just amazing, right? You also have Banner of Dalaran, which increases your ability power. This is very good for your combo with Colossus Smash, but we're going to go over that in another video. Uh, this this increases your uh, this increases the ability power of everybody in the area by 20% for 12 seconds, and there's also a banner of Stormwind which activate to place a banner that grants 25% increased movement speed to a nearby allied heroes last 12 seconds. So again, very good for chasing, very good for just team fighting survival, and this is very good for burst damage. Level 16 we we went for shattering throw, but only and only because the enemy team had Zarya. This is very interesting. I actually, this is very interesting, and I actually just just dig this kind of design so much. Activate to throw, and that deals fifty damage to a target. Just just shit. Like fifty damage is nothing, right? Like I think Murky could fart and deal more damage. You see what I mean? <laughs> but then, and up to one thousand four hundred bonus damage to their shields. So you basically melt down their shields. Like that. You just melt down shields. So, of course, very good against Tassadar, very good against Zarya, and any other shielder. Who's, who's like the other shielder? I can't really think of any right right at this moment. Baby, who's the other shielder? Baby, mm. who gets shields in the game? So, Tassadar, Zarya, um, okay. Static Shield from Falstad kind of gets. gets. I mean, those last of one that I share that. Like, Brightwing. Brightwing can give you shield. So yeah, again, just you know, just kind of go. Maybe it's not that strong against against um, Storm Shield, just because it gives it to everybody around you. But what it also gives you, it's it's a passive, right? Basic attack deal up to twenty two hundred bonus damage to shields. So when you auto attack somebody who has shields, you will be just hundred percent dealing more damage to them, which is crazy in my opinion. So again, if you're going against a shield heavy comp like a Tassada, like a Zarya, or maybe a Brightwing with the with the build with a Z build, you might want to consider going for a shattering throw. But in any other situation, I think I would go for Juggernaut. It just just straight up better. It just gives the the charge auto burst damage. It doesn't matter who you're charging, is it Li Ming or Chogal, they'll be taking kind of you know a similar percentage damage. Um, but it's just 
really good. Moral Strike is also good. It's kind of similar to how um, level 20 talent works. Mortal Wound talent um, works for Xul, which when it just produces the, the, the healing received by the target. It's, it's the same from your trait. Very, very good. Uh, honestly, all those are good for their own situations. Chakrana will take it most of the time just because you were, went for Warbringer, reducing its cooldown, right? But also Mortal Strike, if they have like a Morales or something, you want to really burst that one target down. Or Shattering Throw if you go against a Shield Heavy Cup. And level 20. I like to go for Demoralizing Shout. You just kind of walk up into... Uh, it really depends on what the enemy team is focusing on. If they're focusing on mages, you probably want to go for Demoralizing Shout. Run, you probably charge into the back line, press your two. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, sh a very just thumbed down version of Shrink Ray. Because only, only, it's only at 25% um, reduction, but it's for 5 seconds. It, it's a damage reduction. So they won't be slowed, but they just will be dealing straight up less damage. Which obviously is good uh, when you're dealing with burst damage. Um, or if the, if the enemy team is, is more focused on like a butcher engage, you know, into an Illidan or something like that, you just wait for them to engage and just press demoralizing shout and demoralizing shout, and they will just be dealing less damage, which is good. If you're uh, playing with someone like uh, Brightwing, who who struggles with healing, or Tranquility Mal Malfurion, who struggles with healing, Glory to the Alliance is actually really good. I actually tried it, and it's just it's it's, it's sick how much healing it, it gives. Banner can also increase health regeneration and all healing received to nearby allied heroes by 50% and the cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds, so it's only on the 15 second cooldown now. Which is nuts. You pick up this and you pick up the um, Banner, Banner of Iron Forge and you, you're suddenly your entire team becomes really tanky and just has more health, kind of, because they just regenerate it much faster, right? Especially with someone like a Brightwing who does AoE healing or like Malfurion Tranquility, Tranquility, who does AoE healing, and they would be just doing a lot more of it. Really good. Of course, the other talent builds want to go for Master of Arms or for or Frenzy, but we'll go. We will go over those in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this kind of a new format of a video um, where I actually have stuff written down, so I'm not here like, oh shit, what did they say two seconds ago? Oh shit, what did they what did they finish on when, before this fight? Uh, sorry about the quick gameplay. Uh, we just fucking just destroyed the enemy team, uh, but it kind of just it kind of showed you how strong Varian can be with the right follow up. I feel like that's all I have to say. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There's going to be a giveaway coming up, coming up pretty soon. I'm going to be making a video tomorrow about it. So stay tuned for that. Go over to my uh, Twitch channel. I'm streaming there every day. Actually, I'll be missing one day soon, but it doesn't matter. Um, just go over there. Hit that follow button if you are on Twitch. I, I know you are. I'm looking at you. Go over to my Twitch, uh, Twitch page. F a channel. You know, follow that shit. We're going to play together. Yeah, man. I've done so many like Nexus challenge games with my friend, with my viewers, friends. I like to call them friends. Um, that I can't even count those. Uh, I've helped, I've helped so many people as well. We had so much fun, and I give so many tips, and people are just coming, coming in, having fun, having a blast, and just learning something new as well. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.